This, ladies and gentlemen, is the 2013 Ford Flex Limited all-wheel drive seven-passenger family hauler. Hello again, this is Dave Erickson for TFLcar.com. I've had a lot of fun driving this vehicle this week, and I think the number one reason why, at least for me, is it's functional. But the big question for you is, does it have what it takes to battle the competition and earn your hard-earned dollar? Let's find out together. When it comes to style, think of the Ford Flex as the un-station wagon or the un-SUV. It has the three-row seating of America's classic wagons of the past, combined with the all-wheel drive of modern crossovers and SUVs without the traditional, cultural, and stereotypical soccer mommy wagon reputation. It's old-fashioned and yet at the same time modern. It's boxy and yet at the same time sleek and stylish. It simply refuses to be typecast. My tester model comes with a 3.5 liter V6 six-speed automatic transmission with the optional all-wheel drive. The front-wheel drive comes standard. This engine can produce 287 horsepower, but if you want more power and get up and go, the EcoBoost Flex gets 365 horsepower and can reach 60 miles per hour in about seven seconds. That's thanks to its turbocharged V6. As far as utility, this is where function comes into play. All models come with three rows of seating, making the Flex very comfortable, even in the third row. Plus, with the last two rows of seats folded down, the Flex will easily swallow the biggest IKEA purchase you can think of. And if you like tailgating, check this out. Okay, here's the competition. The Flex competes with other large family haulers like the Honda Pilot, the Toyota Highlander, and the GMC Acadia. While all of those competitors can best be described as crossovers, the Flex looks and feels like a wagon that spent some quality time in the gym buffing up. The EPA fuel economy estimates on my all-wheel drive Flex shows me getting 17 miles per gallon in the city and 23 on the highway. The twin turbocharged EcoBoost gets 16 miles per gallon in the city and 23 on the highway. With a base price just over 41 grand, add another 4,000 for the options on my tester. The Ford Flex is not the least expensive ride in the segment, but you do get a lot for your money, including a very luxurious interior with about as much technology as you can handle with Ford's sync system. So, on the TFL car scale of buy it, rent it, lease it, or forget it, I say buy it. I don't care what it looks like. People have joked with me this week that it looks like a hearse with a teenager's fashion sense. Not to me, I see it as a functional vehicle that delivers on utility, comfort, and overall value. Until next time, this is Dave Erickson for TFLcar.com. It used to be when you thought of performance, you thought of German power, and you know what I'm talking about, but not anymore. Now, this Japanese Lexus 350 GS, well, it's sporty, and it's responsive, and it's fun to drive, and I can tell you, that the gods of performance are not happy. Coming up next on the Fast Lane Car.